Horse Island, Queensland. Clary's promise to deliver 300 head of cattle to his clients isn't paying off. It's been really difficult for Clary so far. I think um, um, hopefully he can he can do um, do some on the weekend. No, we, we, we'll get them cattle, but I just got to like I know how to get them, but. He may be low on resources. Yeah, just keep going. Yeah, no, I'll keep going. Yeah. But Clary is big on his word. For Celia and Guy, the idea of doing this muster is to create a good home for themselves out on Horse Island. I think what they're doing is a good thing. Going back to country and all of that sort of thing sort of drives you a bit too, you know. It's going a bit hard to get them to where they want to be. Cecilia and Guy's quest to reclaim Horse Island is just one chapter in the 220-year-long land rights struggle of First Nations people. The High Court has recognised there were people here and their descendants have rights. After the dispossession of their lands during European colonisation, First Nations people won a historic victory with the 1992 Mabo decision in the High Court. The court has acknowledged the land belonged to the indigenous people before white settlement. That has wider implications. Since the Native Title Act in 1993, over 32% of Australia's land mass has been returned. But the challenge for many First Nations today is how to resettle vast and inaccessible parcels of land like Horse Island. No good having all the land back if it's vacant, you know, and that's now the challenge. Marundu Yana is head of the Carpentaria Land Council. How do you um, fund people who don't have vehicles, don't have any money, don't have ability to build their own infrastructure out there? How do you get back on country? Yeah, well, the Budalawara mob up there trying to get back out on country. They're trying to self-fund it themselves, and it's very admirable. When you're out there, you're free, you know? You can relax, and it's good to be back on country. I, I love it, you know, I love it. It's important to get back out on country, connect with country. You develop that sort of understanding of your own identity as an indigenous person. It, it goes deeper than the color of your skin. I want to teach grandkids that kids, you know, about the country and about the land and where, where they stand with it, you know? And one day when they get older, they, they, they'll know all these stuff to, to teach their children. <laughs> <laughs> 